What's the most f up thing the US government has done? You want this chronological or alphabetical? I mean. There was the time the National Guard shot and killed coal miners and their families who were being horribly exploited by coal companies so they were striking. See also. The Ludlow Massacre. And the time they decided to routinely sterilize Native American women. The CIA testing birth control on unsuspecting women in Puerto Rico. The things they haven't been caught for. The Dred Scott decision. Involvement in the Vietnam War. Agent Orange. And slavery are the most f up that I can think of. The silencing. Embarrassing. And killing of Gary Webb. Gary Webb was an investigative journalist who proved that the CIA was selling massive amounts of drugs, particularly cocaine, to typically black, poor neighborhoods all over the US. This was in order to fund an overthrow of the Nicaraguan government by US friendly terrorists during the 90s. He was forced to resign. Disgraced. Blacklisted. Divorced. And found dead with two bullets through his head in 2004. It was ruled a suicide despite the facts he owned no guns. And it being two bullets through the head in a suicide. I'm sure that for every f up thing we know about there are even worse things that we don't. Agent Orange. The Tuskegee Syphilis Experiment. Well this probably isn't the worst thing America has done since it didn't happen. But Operation Northwoods. This was a proposed false flag attack on US soil that would justify going to war with Cuba. It was rejected by Kennedy. But approved by every man before him. It's stuff like this that makes the whole 9 stroke 11 inside job conspiracy sound a little less wacky. Because this was essentially the same thing. Sent me a letter telling me that I had figured my taxes wrong. If they knew. Why didn't they just do it for me? Because TurboTax lobbied to make it illegal for them to just do it for you. So that TurboTax can continue to exist as a rent seeking leech on society. The Diego Garcia incident in the 1968. Which is also one of the worst things the UK government has done. For the UK to continue purchasing nuclear missiles from America. They asked to rent out the British island of Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean to use as a naval base. The UK then subsequently sent soldiers onto the island. Forced all of the inhabitants off of the island. Killed anybody who resisted. Destroyed all homes and killed all the animals so US soldiers could then turn the island into a naval base. Any ex-inhabitants who tried to speak out about the incident were immediately silenced and punished. And the details of the incident were only recently made public. Gulf of Tonkin. And subsequently the Vietnam War. Shuffles deck picks card not doing anything about the AIDS epidemic. The trail of tears is pretty up there for most f up thing. Edit. Yes I know slavery happened. I'm not arguing that this was worse I just named the first thing that popped into my head. Hard to rank them but the Gulf of Tonkin incident was a US false flag operation to establish the pretext to invade Vietnam to stop the spread of communism. Leading to the absolutely useless deaths of millions of military and civilians only to have the US pull out and cede control of the entire country to communist control. The most f up thing about it is that our government knew it was an unwinnable war but we stayed there anyway throwing more bodies on the pile. The news media kept a daily running count of US dead. The US govt. Measured success in term of number of enemy dead. We overthrew a democratically elected government in Iran when the people didn't vote for who we wanted. Edit. Down with the military industrial complex. Great nations don't fight endless wars. Honestly there's so many grotesquely f up things it's hard to pick just one. Not to mention there's so much that's classified. That honestly we don't know for sure. The thread is bound to mention stuff like slavery. Tuskegee. MK Ultra. Trail of Tears. Iran Contra. Jim Crow Laws. Vietnam War. Voter Suppression. Operation Northwoods. The Patriot Act. Pretending COVID is a hoax to short stock. Bombing Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 
executing mentally disabled criminals. And the list just goes on and on and on. How do you pick a most f up thing? The MK Ultra LSD mind control experiments from the 1950s. Throwing citizens in internment camps during World War II. The incessant need to overthrow democratically elected socialist leaders and or assassinating them and then planting fascist dictators in their place. Victims. Salvador Allende, murdered by US-backed coup in Chile. Patrice Lumumba, assassinated by CIA and DRC. Thomas Sankara, murdered by US and French-backed coup in Burkina Faso. Jean-Bertrand Aristide, ousted by US-backed coup in Haiti. Dot. Anyone care to add to the list? There's lost more I'm sure. Oh. And the US literally invaded the tiny island of Grenada in the Caribbean to take down a socialist government. Sad. The eugenics movement. We're disabled. Us are feeble minded. And the mentally ill were sterilized against their will to assign and improve the human race. Decimated the Native American population. And then gave them the worst land and doomed them to poverty. I'm gonna go with not doing anything to stop the brutal lynching. The whole Iran Contra affair was about as shady as shady comes. But the US has a history of trying to overthrow governments for their own personal gain regardless of the cost in the country. Iraq. Iran. Vietnam. Grenada. Chile. Peru. Bolivia. Colombia. Panama. Samoa. Hawaii. Honduras. Cuba. Nicaragua. Mexico. Haiti. Dominican Republic. China. Greece. Costa Rica. Albania. Syria. Egypt. Guatemala. Indonesia. Lebanon. Laos. Brazil. Cambodia. Pakistan. Afghanistan. Poland. El Salvador. Chad. Yugoslavia. Palestine. Libya. Yemen. Venezuela. The US is a violent nation and they are not content with keeping their violence to themselves so they have to take it to other shores to force their way of life on others. Please sit down. This might take a while. Not the most f up thing but still f in the 1980s when the Saad distributed crack to the black communities. Kent State shooting was pretty f up. Pretty much anything with the police. Police search for Dorna comes to mind. Shooting cars full of innocent people and killing two people in a straight up murder because the vehicle matched descriptions. No for thought. Just shooting those officers that murdered those two innocents didn't face any charges and still patrol the streets. We also have the police firebombing buildings and burning people alive because they supported an anti-cop watch group that had members starting to go down a very dangerous and stupid path. However I don't think that calls for roasting people alive including children and burned down 60 homes in the neighborhood. This was in 1985. Pretty much any law enforcement. DFBI any fed or any local police force is corrupt and guilty of something. Labor camps after the bombing of Fallujah is pretty far up there. CIA overthrowing democratically elected leaders in South America and installing fascist regimes is towards the top two. It's hard to say really. We have done some pretty f up shit and it's hard to measure the impact. The invasion of Iraq in general was pretty bad. Sanctions against Cuba. Iraq and the USSR led to tons and tons of deaths. It would be hard to isolate the worst thing with the list being so long. Tough call. Kill. Imprison. And ruin the lives of its own citizens over recreational drug use. Proxy wars over ideology? Iraq wars? Allow Justin Bieber entry into the country? I think the most f up thing is something they covered up so well. We'll never know it even existed. Manifest Destiny. The only difference between it and Hitler's hunger plan was that Manifest Destiny worked. Most historians consider the US expansion westward as a genocide. Wounded Knee Massacre. Filling the history books full of lies. Genocide of the Native Americans was horrible but lying about it is unforgivable. 
Remember that time the CIA allowed a Nicaraguan cartel to sell cocaine in America to fund a civil war? Basically started the 80s crack epidemic in black communities. Vietnam. My lie massacre is my vote for the worst thing we've done. Aiding Augusto Pinochet in a military coup against Chile. He reigned as a brutal dictator for decades. All because the US didn't like that they elected a socialist. Residential schools towards Native Americans. USA and Canada's most recent genocide with the last school closing in 1996. It's really sad and I don't have any grandparents because of it. They were shot by the RCMP taking my father away during the 60s scoop. My grandparents fought to keep him but the RCMP were allowed to use lethal force. He was 5. He finally got to leave at 16 as one of the only survivors in his family and was homeless until 18. He has told me horror stories that the schools or government won't even acknowledge or touch. Murder. Beatings. Sexual assault on children. Torture. And other fkedu things you can't even imagine. Como assault oaks and we lost our language because of it. He wasn't allowed to speak salt oaks and that was all he knew at the time. Colon. It's fked up and sad. Colon. Thousands lost their lives. Trail of Tez was likely not the worst. Besides slavery. The Trail of Tez. Where they forced Native Americans out of their homeland to the west. Just because they wanted their land. Killed around 15. 000 Native Americans. Tell me that's not fked up. Lots of anti-US spam lately. What the hell is the point of this thread? Anyway. Arp's account is 3 years old and this is its only activity? Not sure if this is the most messed up. But. Comma a study by the U. S. General Accounting Office finds that 4 of the 12 Indian Health Service regions sterilized 3. 406 American Indian women without their permission between 1973 and 1976. The Gao finds that 36 women under age 21 were sterilized during this period despite a court-ordered moratorium on sterilizations of women younger than 21. Comma two years earlier. An independent study by DR. Connie Pinkett and Yuri. Choctaw Cherokee. Found that 1 in 4 American Indian women had been sterilized without her consent. Pinkett and Yuri's research indicated that the Indian Health Service had singled out full-blooded Indian women for sterilization procedures. How much time you got? Lied us into war after 9 stroke 11. Murdered and displaced millions of innocent lives. Destroyed our monetary policy and incentives for Americans to save to fund these endless wars. When she hit the fan from these policies. They further inflated our money to bail out big banks and corrupt corporations. All politicians are bought and sold by huge corporations. The solution. Liberty. Human freedom. Volunteerism. And the erosion of this corrupt and centralized power. Iraq war. Which one? Just the entire conquest of the Philippines from 1898 to about 1902 or so. Hundreds of thousands of deaths. And soldiers gleefully killing civilians. There is a particularly horrifying letter from a soldier who wrote to his parents. Immediately orders were received from General Hueton to burn the town and kill every native in sight. Which was done to a finish. About 1000 men. Women. And children were reported killed. I am probably growing hard hearted. For I am in my glory when I can sight my gun on some dark skin and pull the trigger. Really horrible stuff. Genocide level. The overthrowing of legitimate governments to replace them with dictators in the name of fighting communism. Happened in Iran and all over Latin America. Not a single act but breaking over 170 treaties with native people is pretty shtty. Having private companies market medical supplies to all the states forcing them to compete against each other in order to secure supplies. New York was paying 85 cents a mask and now they have to pay $7 in order to outbeat other states. A real shame during this crisis. Privatization for profit of our prison systems. 
being the only country on earth to use nuclear weapons against other humans is to be up there. Civilian cities nonetheless. Slavery. Everything they do to hide their corruption. Not pay taxes to the crown for 243 years. They kidnap children of Native Americans. Indian Genocide and Slavery. Slavery. The Indian Removal Act. Being trillions in debt. The Trail of Tears. Waterboarding prison was just a little bit more than a decade ago. Between slavery. The countless US-backed coups of left-wing South American governments. The complicity of the genocide of East Timor. The genocide of the Native Americans. The mass illegal bombings of Cambodia. The ongoing endless wars in the Middle East. All the backing of Saudis and the genocidal civil war in Yemen. It's almost impossible to pick the worst from the depths of depravity my country dives into in the name of profit and capitalism. I. I am lost for words. Is the history of the US government really this dark? Gruesome and awful? Yes. The Tuskogee experiment. We infected thousands of African American men and women with STDs. Told them they were cured, and then monitored them for decades to test the disease progression. Took half of my shti in my FCK I'm divorce. Good thing I hid most of my shti in my friend Lenny's bank account. FCK you share all you see NT. Probably MK Ultra. Look up the 10 stages to genocide. We got to step 8. Twice with the Native Americans and Japanese. Step 9 is extermination. We say that it could have never happened and that the US. As far as we went. Would never go that far. Step 10 is denial. Hillary Clinton leaving 4 Americans to die in Benghazi when support was waiting on the green light to help. If you think that was the worst thing the US has ever done you're in for a treat lol. Yeah letting 4 Americans die is worse than letting millions of Americans die of AIDS and crack addiction. Like FCK Hillary Clinton but also who gives a shti about Benghazi especially compared to the thousands of other atrocities the government has done. Today? In the last hour? Give us a window. Otherwise this can be a very hard task. Their failed response to the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s. The trail of tears was pretty effing awful. Just today? This week? Year? Need to be more specific please. All the Middle East campaigns. But in particular Iraq. Bombings killed around 100. 000 civilians. And the Air Force used white phosphorus. Which burns in air. Melts skin and produces toxic gas. At times. Civilians were specifically targeted and massacred. And no one was ever tried for these blatant war crimes. Additionally. The US government openly allows violation of human rights and torture and no one can stop them. Under US law. People who are rich enough can basically do anything. Even by politicians. Everything the US did with the natives is pretty terrible. MK Ultra. Staging coups in any country they didn't agree with. Sending 1400 Cuban exiles with guns into Cuba against 20. 000 Cuban soldiers and expecting them not to die. Call me crazy but dropping nuclear bombs on civilian cities is pretty bad. The atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki were pretty bad too. Agreed. Horrific. Wouldn't it be also terrible if the US kept pushing with conventional tactics? Millions of more soldiers, American and Japanese, and civilians, Japanese, would have died. Dragging the war out for years and devastating the Japanese mainland. I guess there's never many good choices in war and why it should always be avoided as much as possible. I'm bemused that so few people are thinking of the whole system enforced human slavery thing. That really popped right into my head. Finance conflicts in South American and Caribbean countries to disprove the socialist economic theory and undermine the stability and integrity of communist governments. Gifting Native Americans with blankets infected with smallpox was pretty messed up. Spread eugenics. 
The Nazis adopted our eugenics program exactly.